Martha McSally leaves Washington today for what will probably be the last time as a U.S. Senator. When the Senate returns from its Thanksgiving break in 10 days, Democrat Mark Kelly could be the new Senator from Arizona and McSally will be a private citizen once again. But before leaving the Senate, McSally took time this week for a farewell. As I make the trip back home from DC to Arizona for the last time and close out this nine year chapter of my life, I do so with gratitude, with joy, and with no regrets. It was a sometimes emotional address from McSally, a Republican unseated by Kelly in this election. But the former Air Force fighter pilot said she was proud of her two years in the Senate and two terms before that as a House member representing the Tucson area. This approach, despite the division, the obstruction and the dysfunction here in Congress, drove me to tirelessly seek common ground, to find pragmatic solutions that make a real tangible difference in people's lives. It was during her time in the Senate that McSally put forward Arizona businesswoman Barbara Barrett as a candidate for Air Force Secretary. Now Secretary, Barrett calls McSally a friend and exemplary leader. She told us in a statement that while in Congress, McSally has, quote, built upon her legacy reflecting the U.S. Air Force core values of integrity, service, and excellence. I wish her all the best. I look forward to seeing her again in our home state. American University professor Jason Mollica says McSally faced a tough situation when she took the Senate job, appointed to fill the term of legendary Senator John McCain just weeks after losing a 2018 race to Senator Kirsten Sinema. She was in a no-win situation when she had to replace Senator McCain, let's be honest. Uh, you can't just pick up where Senator McCain left off and say, I'm going to pick it. You just can't. He thinks McSally's losses in 2018 and this year had to do with President Donald Trump's unpopularity and the popularity of her challengers. A lot more people were displeased with how the president went. So I think it had a little bit to play in why Senator McSally was having not having much success. But I also think it had a lot to do with who she was running against in some cases. She faced challenges in the Senate as well, revealing also, during a Senate hearing that she had been raped while in the Air Force. And I told the whole world in a Senate Armed Services Committee hearing that as a fighter pilot, retired colonel, and a U.S. Senator, I too am a survivor of sexual assault. But her farewell was mostly a time to dwell on the positive. I wish my successor, Mark Kelly, all the best as he represents our incredible state in this hallowed chamber. McSally said that she's not sure what's next, but is proud of this chapter of her life. It's been a true honor, Arizona. We are an extraordinary state with extraordinary people. While the next Congress will not be sworn in until January, Kelly and McSally were not technically running for a seat in the next Congress. They were running to fill McCain's seat for the next two years. That means Kelly can be sworn in as soon as election results are certified, which is expected to come in by November 30th.